Federal stimulus checks were meant to help all Americans make ends meet. You've probably heard checks were cut and sent for people who have been dead for years. So what do you do with that money? 41 Action News reporter Dan Cohen got answers from a tax professional. Mark Preston is recently the, uh, retired and recently lost a parent. My father passed away in June of 2018. My brother and I are co-trustees of the trust. And then he received a surprising piece of mail. Last week, we received a stimulus check for my father. Mark is not alone. Check. Economic it's impact payments are still going to deceased Americans. After calling some family friends, uh, who were in a similar situation, we found out they had also received a check for a person that passed away last summer. Even if you're designated as a personal representative or have power of attorney, you can't take a check as your own. Signing a check that isn't intended for you is a federal crime. And now if you get your stimulus check in the mail, there's a new warning on the envelope. If recipient deceased, check this box and put it back in your mailbox. The explanation is they didn't, they didn't look for that. I mean, they just printed checks or made the payments without looking to see if those people had been deceased. So what should you do if you receive a payment for a deceased relative? Their guidance says to void the check, send it back. If you received a direct deposit, you're supposed to write them a check and mail it to them. Mark Preston Next says time, the check for his late father people, caught him off guard and, and doesn't want others surprised either. This is something I feel that people should know about because I was totally unaware. Had I cashed that check and not known it was a criminal offense, uh, I, I would have felt horrible about it. In Kansas City, Dan Cohen, 41 Action News.